Hey, yo, that shit tastes like ass. What's going on guys, it's your boy, your big chunk Johnny. Uh, I haven't been able to film a video for a while, but I've always wanted uh, to film this video right here because I actually got that like a week ago, I believe, or a couple days ago. And uh, I've been wanting to talk about it and review it a little bit because dude, that shit is awesome. So you're probably wondering where the hell did you get that? That's awesome. So let me actually talk a little bit about that. By the way, I shaved, so I look like a fucking baby right now. So no. So no stash for the Johnny 420 boys today. So sorry about that. So yeah, this video is gonna be talking about this thing over here and a little review about it here and there. And uh, let me actually share to you a really cool story on how I actually got this thing. Normally at retail, brand new in that box where you have to set it up, set it up and everything, it's like 300 bucks. Would I drop $300 for an arcade uh, cabinet of Mortal Kombat? Hell yeah, I would. Dude, it's fucking Mortal Kombat, dude. But the thing is, I didn't have $300. So when I walked into my local Walmart, I saw that this machine was in display. They usually have the arcade one-ups in displays, but they're like fucked up. Like the knobs are taken off, the paint of the artwork or where the control panel was at is all messed up. Uh, kids with their greasy ass bubblegum fingers touch them and everything and they just mess them up. Luckily, when they put this one up, it was hidden towards the back. And I found it and I was playing it and I was playing it with a couple friends when we were walking around Walmart, and I loved the damn thing. Until I noticed that there was a sticker placed on the very side of the control panel, and it said, take this now, save $130, and take this for $167. You bet your fucking ass I paid $167 for that. I didn't even need to build it. It was already built, and it worked. I checked all buttons. Everything worked. So I basically got that for less than $200. They didn't fit in my car so I had to take my truck and they you know put it in the back of my truck and I brought it over you know what I actually have that small sticker that says that I got it for hundred and sixty seven dollars let me see if I can go find it no nope, I, I can't I can't find it I can't find it <sighs> so yeah I couldn't find it so that sucks ass but what I do have and I promised a friend that I will do this on my channel at one point uh, some spider-man 2 bootleg game cards game trading cards addition 11 additional game cards Let's actually open some up. Let's look at the first three that we have here. Oh god. Uh, so yeah, this one is uh, this one's from the game. It's not even from the movie. It's from Spider-Man 2: The Game. If a fucking glare would let me see it, as you can see there. This one I like to call it. Uh, you're getting on my nerves. I have an act for that. Not anymore. And it's this one right here. Sick. And this one, the last one, I call it. Are you in or are you out, motherfucking? Spider-Man! Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin, fourth win. So yeah, that's how I got my arcade machine, and I would have not been able to done it without my friend the Finesser. Let me introduce you guys to the Finesser. Hey, hey, Finesser, you want to come in here real quick? <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Hey, Johnny, how you doing, big chump? Hey, the Finesser. Hey, bro. I see you with your arcade cabinet, bro. That looks tight as fuck. Hey, bro, how you been? Yeah, I've been good, man. I've just been uh, finessing people over some shit. Uh, so that's pretty great. How you been, bro? How's the video games? How's the videos? Oh, man, I, I could have been better, man. I'm, you know, doing the, I'm doing the same thing, the usual. Oh, man, that's great. That's great. Hey, so, yeah, you should probably also mention about that dumbass family who put that part wrong in that arcade machine. So that was probably the reason why they had it for $167. Oh, shit, dude, you're totally right. I totally... Forgot to mention that in the video. Yeah, this was some dumb motherfuckers, bro. I'm telling you. Thanks for the heads up. I probably would have left that out. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm just uh, making sure that your content is pretty dank at this point. So, yeah. Uh, keep chomping, bro. I gotta go. There's some fucking pack of DP uh, in the back of my car. It's getting hot as shit. Uh, and I'm very thirsty, so. All right, man. You go ahead and go do that. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the video. I'll catch you later, my man. Keep chomping, bro. By the way, that arcade cabinet, still sick as fuck. You need more finessing, you let me know, diggy dog. Hey, I'll catch you chumps later. Alright, thanks for stopping out, Finesser. I'll see you soon, dude. Yeah. You're probably asking, if it's $167, doesn't that mean there's something wrong with it? I wish I can tell you there was something wrong with it, but it works perfectly fine. 
Um, so yeah, apparently this family bought it. They put the power switch the wrong way. That's what they told me. So when they returned it and the Walmart employees fixed it back up, they saw that a part was in the wrong way and it worked perfectly. But Walmart named it as broken, so they put it at that price. I am so lucky. So yeah, let's actually talk about the Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade 1 cabinet. So let me explain some things that I love about this cabinet. I'm so glad that Arcade 1UP listened to the people that said, dude, if you're going to make a Mortal Kombat cabinet, make sure you slap on Mortal Kombat 2's artwork on there because it is sick. And let me tell you, it does look sick. It does come with Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate 3. Ultimate 3 being my second favorite Mortal Kombat game of all time. That, that that's, that's a pretty great deal. You get the first MK1, MK2, and MK3. And you know what? For anybody that says that MK1 and MK2 doesn't age well in terms of gameplay, you can suck my <laughs> Because to this day, I still have tons of fun playing those games with my buddies. Majority of the buttons feel really good. I'll get to more of that in a second. Um, I really liked that they put the protector on top of the control panel so that way the artwork doesn't wear off when there's a lot of moisture or when you get really sweaty hands so the paint doesn't actually wear off. Of course, since this isn't running on the original hardware, it is running on emulation. And for the most part, it's pretty damn good. So if I were to compare this to the Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection back on PS3 and Xbox 360, honestly, this slightly does a better emulation job than the ones in uh, the actual home console version, to a certain extent. Uh, I'll get to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 in a bit. Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2, uh, I haven't played so much, but for what I've played, it runs pretty good. I love the way Mortal Kombat 1 sounds in this cabinet. It just sounds so authentic, and I really hate that... Mortal Kombat 1 in the arcade collection on PS3 and Xbox 360 just did not sound right. It just did not sound like Mortal Kombat 1. Of course it did, it just sounded really weird. Like, I wish I can explain it, but the way it's supposed to sound is in this cabinet, which is great. And Mortal Kombat 2 plays fantastic, even though it's still hard as shit. It's still a great game to play. Okay, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Emulation is good for the most part, but I did find some graphical glitches here and there. For a good example, uh, when I did, um, for example, when I did Smoke's full screen uh, block and run, up, up, forward, down fatality, which is the bomb fatality that blows up the whole world, the emulation has, r has a really rough time, like, putting the stars on screen. Instead, you get these two lines and it's just glitched out, so it doesn't look that great. So yeah, that's one con that I have so far. Let me talk about some cons that I have with this system. And let's start with the most obvious one, and it's the joysticks. The joysticks are way too loose. And that's probably because I have a $150 arcade stick that feels really great in terms of the, the, uh, the stick itself, because I have an octogate in there and it feels nice and firm. But yeah, these these uh, joysticks do need an improvement, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you can pop up the panel and place your own, because I'm pretty sure that's not that difficult to do, I just don't do it because I feel like I'm gonna break something. Also, this is the biggest flaw that I have with this cabinet, and that is the EBJ menu. So basically, there was these secret menus that you can access to tinker with difficulty, volume, etc, etc. So what I wanted to do is that when you unlock the secret characters in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 with the actual code, uh, once you turn that shit off, it's gonna be gone when you turn it right back on. So apparently you can activate the EBJ menu and activate all the hidden characters, and every time you shut off the system and turn it back on, uh, you will be able to have all those characters there, no matter how many times you turn it off. The problem with that is there was a whole thread of people complaining how they actually break their whole cabinet or their whole ROM and they could no longer play these games because they were tinkering around too much with the EBJ menu. I was really scared to do that. Like, I don't know if it was worth the risk to have all the characters there at all times, but I'm a fucking idiot and I still did it anyway. I was scared shitless, but at least it worked. I think there's some certain settings that you can't tinker around with or it will actually brick your system. People were lucky enough to be able to tinker around with it and it actually never broke on them. There's a lot of YouTube videos of people tinkering around with it 
and it, and it just works fine. But there was a lot of complaints saying that more, their Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 1 ROMs have been bricked. Another con that I have with this thing, uh, it's not as bad in Mortal Kombat 1 or 2, but in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, that motherfucker is loud. Literally, when I'm pulling off combos or when I'm fighting Shao Kahn, there's distortion in the speakers, and it just does not sound well. You can fix that in the EBJ menu by lowering down the volume and saving your initials. The problem with that, it may break your shit. The only thing I ever changed the EBJ menu was having the hidden uh, characters like uh, Ermac, uh, Melina and Sub-Zero um, activate at all times every time I turn it off. It still works fine, nothing happened, but I'm really scared to change the volume because the volume is kind of eef. I know it sounds like I'm being very negative about this, but overall, it's a great system, man. It plays great, it's a great, like, fuck, dude, if you're a grown-up and you're having parties and you're drunk as fuck, I don't do that because that's for chumps, but uh, yeah, this would be like a great thing to bust out in parties if you're just trying to have some fun with some friends or maybe if you own a business like a small business like a barber shop or fucking like a small restaurant the, this thing would be great for people to come in and you know play and stuff or just in general for a, a game collector like me of course i don't have the biggest collection ever but that thing over there is like the best thing i've ever had in my whole life when i was younger I always dreamed about having my own Mortal Kombat machine. Look look at me now, I have a whole ass Mortal Kombat arcade, uh, arcade machine. It's probably not the best or the real thing, but it's so much better than nothing. It feels great, the emulation is great, it's fun to play with friends. Is it worth $300 if you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan? Fuck yes, dude. But if you're a casual fan and you just want to play it um, casually from time to time, um, I'm pretty sure you can wait um, for a prize drop or something, or maybe Black Friday they'll have it uh, way cheaper than usual. But lucky for me, I was able to get this cabinet for less than $200, so yurt. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I know it was short and brief, but I just really wanted to talk about this cabinet. It's great. I love it to death. It's a great stress reliever after <laughs> a bunch of things has been happening, but man, I... I can't even explain, I, can't, I literally can't, I have no words to explain how much I love this thing and how much that cabinet means to me. It may sound silly, but that cabinet means the world to me and I'm doing everything in my might to make sure that thing is okay at all times. Like it sounds sad as fuck, but dude, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 means a lot to me and it's just a great stress reliever. Even though Mortal Kombat 2 is hard as shit, just knowing that I have it there and whenever I'm overthinking some certain things, I can just get up from my bed, stand up, ease my muscles, and play some fucking Mortal Kombat. This thing is awesome. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. And I'll catch you chumps later.